Are you hearing that the 2024 eclipse and the Large Hadron Collider could potentially open a portal to hell? Well, nothing would surprise me anymore, so I had to look into this announcement by CERN that they will be starting up the Large Hadron Collider on April 8, 2024, the day of the Great American Eclipse as well as some other very fear-invoking scenarios. So, today we're going to explore three doom and gloom scenarios that have been making news. The internet is inundated with videos about how the upcoming 2024 eclipse and the Large Hadron Collider might somehow be involved in opening a gateway to hell, complete with a horned comet and mark of the beast. Let me say that at the core of all information is a huge misinformation campaign that has been going on for decades. As Trump said, it's not him they want, it's us. And he was right about that, it's our minds, our obedience and our subservience they covet. The money changers seek to profit from our suffering and dispose of us as they see fit. Most everyone is beginning to realize their vulnerability at the hands of the current powers. Consider the possibility that there is a war going on behind the scenes for power, and that every day, there is misinformation being disseminated from both sides of this conflict for different reasons. As covered in some of my other videos, we know the outcome of this war. It has been prophesized throughout the ages, and it has allegedly been seen through a program called Project Looking Glass, which allows one to see into the future. Yet there are dark elements publishing misinformation designed to create fear and disempowerment in the people. Why? Because the good in this world outnumber the bad, and they need us to feed their evil with fear. So the outcome has already been decided in this war. The evil ones can't win because they are so vastly outnumbered so don't contribute to their negative energy. If for just 4 minutes 28 seconds you can break free from your emotions and embrace the change that is occurring, you will feel better. The fourth video in this eclipse series is exactly that, a 4 minute 28 second guided meditation to use during the eclipse. When the people of the earth finally do catch on, they turn away from the evil which is tumbling every day. The perversion of the wealthy is being exposed. The corrupt of Washington are coming down, Hollywood is going down, religious structures are being exposed. There is no doubt that age-old cultural institutions are tumbling down. It is our job to help others see what's going on, not with argument but with example and love. By sharing information with them, we can open their eyes to the information that they feed their minds with, whether it's mainstream media or a truther podcaster. There are good and bad in it all. Help them to identify the misinformation which is making this transformation so difficult for many. So we will start with the 2024 eclipse and the Large Hadron Collider reports, a celestial event that has been a source of wonder and healing for centuries, and a scientific marvel at the cutting edge of particle physics, the merging of technology and spiritual wisdom. But is this event designed to create some portal to hell, which will destroy our world as we know it? We'll look into that in a moment. Next, we have the number 666. This number, often associated with Satan and the mark of the beast, has been inaccurately linked to the interval between the 2017 and 2024 eclipses. It's not too hard to figure out. The reality is that time interval calculators exist all over the internet. I calculated this time frame and you might be surprised to find what I uncovered. Lastly, we will discuss the horned or devil comet that will be in the sky during the eclipse. So we are going to look into CERN creating a hellish portal, an ominous number associated with Satan, and a horned comet smashing into the earth at the precise time of the eclipse. Is this real or another end of the world scenario? Is it another mind manipulation in this war between good and evil? Intrigued? Good! As we peel back the layers of these reports, we'll uncover the fascinating truths that lie beneath. So let's dive right into the science and math behind the stories and set the record straight. First, we're tackling the Large Hadron Collider. Is it a gateway to hell? Let's check it out. We should have a little background. CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research and the Large Hadron Collider sits in a tunnel 300 feet underground at the border of France and Switzerland, near Geneva. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator and became operational in September 2008, when the first proton beams were circulated in the accelerator. The Hadron Collider propels charged particles to almost the speed of light and smashes them together. This is pretty dangerous stuff. The subsequent collisions generate an array of subatomic quantum particles. The LHC has been used numerous times in runs or campaigns. These campaigns typically last for several months to a few years. The LHC has had numerous problems and shutdowns over the years, 
but its third operational run began on April 22, 2022. This round is expected to continue until 2026. So this is something that started two years ago. The Large Hadron Collider can achieve an energy that no other particle accelerators have reached before. But nature routinely produces even higher energies. The maximum energy level of LHC collisions is about 14 tera electron volts. This is minuscule compared to the highest energy cosmic particles that have been observed in nature. Ultra-high energy cosmic rays are rare, but they have been shown to have energies around 50 million times the highest energy achieved in LHC. So the LHC is not as powerful as nature. It is 100% true that there are people who would like to use this equipment to open a portal to hell. And they have been trying for many years, but to date, no particle accelerator has created a portal to another dimension. They have numerous dates and events that they conduct sacrificial rituals, and the upcoming solar eclipse is one of them. However, reports for some time have been that all means of atomic destruction have been secured or disabled by the good guys, except for a few portable ones that can be disabled after launch. The Large Hadron Collider is far from portable, so it is likely disabled. We The People News has consistently reported that Val Thor and his team have been working underground in Geneva, Switzerland. If we believe this intel, then we know that the Large Hadron Collider cannot cause harm during this upcoming solar eclipse. So, don't dismiss the evil that is in this world, but realize that the Hadron Particle Collider is not about to unleash demonic forces into a portal of hell on April 8th. Now let's address the number 666. Some people are reporting that the time span between the 2017 and 2024 eclipses is six years, six months, and six days. Well, this one was easy enough to check. The number 666 carries a lot of weight in numerology and popular culture, often associated with ominous events. But let's get facts straight. The number of days between the total solar eclipse of August 21, 2017, and the impending eclipse of April 8, 2024, isn't 666. It's actually far from it. This is not a difficult one to disprove. There are date interval calculators all over the internet. I used the one at timeanddate.com. A simple search shows that the number of days between the last eclipse on August 21st and the upcoming eclipse of April 8, 2024, is 2,422 days, or 6 years, 7 months, 18 days, excluding the end date or six years, seven months, 19 days, if you do include the end date. So you can see that this cannot be interpreted as the ominous 666. Further, there is no alternative time unit that can be construed to equal 666. So where did the number 666 come into play? It doesn't anywhere. Just some more fear porn for those that blindly trust what they hear. But as we can see, the math simply doesn't add up. In fact, the number 666 doesn't have any particular significance in the context of solar or lunar eclipses. It's merely a number that has been overhyped and used by some screwed up people. It has no substance or meaning other than that which we give it. The truth is, eclipses are natural phenomena that have been occurring for billions of years. Their timings are determined by the orbits of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, not by mystical numbers or ominous predictions. Don't give these evil people any more power than we already have. So, as it turns out, the devil really isn't in the details on these two eclipses. And finally, let's look at this horned or devil comet set to make a grand appearance during the 2024 eclipse. The term horned comet creates a vivid image, doesn't it? But in fact, it's merely a comet with two tails instead of one, streaking across the sky. It's a fantastic spectacle to imagine, but some are trying to turn it into a dark and ominous event. Comets with two tails have always been known as bipolar comets but this year they have turned into devil or horned comets. Bipolar comets are relatively rare but not unheard of in astronomy. There are numerous atmospheric conditions which affect the distribution of the dust and ion tails of comets, but demonic energy is not one of them. As comets approach the sun, they heat up and start to evaporate, creating a glowing coma around their nucleus and often a tail. While some comets can have multiple tails, it's not common and the chances of one of these multi-tailed comets being visible during the brief window of a solar eclipse would be pretty low. This particular comet is known as the 12 p Pons brooks Comet, and it has a 71-year orbit according to NASA, so the last time it was seen in our solar system was 1954, and it won't be seen again until 2095. It's nothing new this year, 
Its closest proximity to the sun will be on April 21st when it passes within 74.4 million miles of it. So on April 8th, it's still going to be a distance from our sun or the eclipse as it is happening. Overall, while comets have often been regarded with awe, wonder, and sometimes fear throughout history, there is no tradition of referring to two-tailed comets as devil or horned comets in traditional cultural or religious contexts. This is no celestial omen. It is the active mind of someone who finds a need to convince people that Satan has some power. This is completely made up in current days by people seeking to evoke fear. So while the idea of a horned devil comet gracing the 2024 eclipse is quite a marketing hook, it's important to remember that it's just that. It wasn't a devil comet the last time it was here, so when did it change? The universe is full of wonders and unexpected surprises, and we shouldn't get caught up in unsubstantiated fear porn by some sick people. We need to appreciate the beauty of the celestial events we know are coming and utilize them to connect with the vibrational energy of creation. In conclusion, the 2024 eclipse and the Hadron Particle Collider are fascinating subjects, but they're not harbingers of doom. As we've discussed, the rumors of the Collider opening a portal to hell are nothing but fiction, stirred up by misunderstandings of advanced physics. The number of days between the 2017 and 2024 eclipses isn't 666, but rather 2,427, debunking another myth. And while the prospect of a horned comet visible during the 2024 eclipse is intriguing, it's important to remember that astronomical events are not omens of impending disaster. It's vital that we approach these topics with a critical and scientific mindset, questioning the sources of our information and seeking out evidence-based explanations. Misinformation breeds fear, but when we arm ourselves with knowledge, we can dispel these fears. Remember, knowledge is power and a little science can go a long way in dispelling fear. Subscribe and stay tuned for more myth-busting content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.